I surveyed 1,071 boyfriends on all things relationships and love, and today you'll be playing a game of guess what those boyfriends that I t talked to earlier with, and asked them questions said. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people are going to lie. I already can tell. They're going to be like, really? I don't do that, and then they do that. Yeah. Mm. As a boy and a boyfriend, I feel like I'm going to do good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date someone significantly taller than you? What percentage of boyfriends? said yes. Oh. I feel like this would be higher for men. Like, they don't give a I f feel like it's the exact opposite. Oh. What? Significantly is a big word. <laughs> because, it's at least five mm, letters. Yeah, that's at least like five inches. Yeah. <laughs> if I walk into a place with a girl in heels and she's taller than me, I'm like, yeah, player, guess what? <laughs> guess who's got my back, dog? Most men are short next to me in my life. I'm a giant Tess. I would, <laughs> if somebody is taller than me, though, really I can't am. do it. Or is it like a There's no, Price is Right situation? No. Like $1, Bob? I think the Price is Right situation is bullshit. I uh, totally agree. It should be closest to the pin, baby. All right, what do we got? Okay. 21%. Oh, 27%, it's 21%. Close. 42. Oh, oh, Okay. 40%, 22%, okay. Wow. I think it's an ego thing. I, I don't think, think so like, too. yeah, I think like it has to be a smaller amount because like men just like don't, like they're gonna find a short queen, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the answer is. Yes! Boom, Wait, 65. Am I closer? You're yeah, closer. Yeah, totally closer. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. 65.4%. Oh, I'm actually happy it's that high. Me yeah. too. Not but... as picky as you think. Not hung up on it. Wow. Said they would? Yep. Said they would. I'm just like thinking if wow. I had a d <laughs> like I would totally want a girl taller, you know what I mean? That makes zero sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like receiving flowers as a gift? Oh. What percentage of boyfriends said yes? <laughs> oh, interesting. Not anything I've ever considered. Oh no. Well that was hard. I did a musical like in high school and I, and I got flowers after. <laughs> Did you so, care? I liked it. You know, there's that saying that the first bouquet of flowers that a man will ever get is at his funeral. Oh gosh. No, but now That's we're so sad. Dark. <laughs> what? What about graduation? What you got? Thirteen and sixteen percent low. Oh, we're pretty yeah. close all the time. Ten percent, fifteen percent. Yeah. Okay. That's why she won dollar about me. She's gonna win. <laughs> She's gonna win. Twenty-eight. Oh, oh 28 damn. 30. thirty. Oh no! Forty-three point seven percent appreciate flowers. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. I'm mad that you won that because we were so close. Come on. Wow. Have you ever bought flowers for a guy? Never. That's shockingly have high. Have you ever received flowers as a gift? I have. I love gifts. I can buy myself flowers. Do you like being the little spoon or the big spoon? What percentage of boyfriends said big spoon? Oh, I feel like a lot of boyfriends really do like being the little spoon. Sometimes we just want to be held. Yeah, dude. I feel like because they're like, oh, 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 during the day, and then they want to be like, <laughs> at night. I'm a very tall person, so like, I like to feel like I'm small in that moment. Mm, okay. You know? Yeah, I'm the same way. Oh, like, cuddle me up. No. You've never like, snuggled up to a butt. Ever? <laughs> Snuggle butt. I have. Snuggle butt. <laughs> Wait, real quick. Was this anonymous? Yes. Hell Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. 84% yes. and 60%. Okay. I played it safe. 20. Oh, we're so close. 78%. Oh. 83. Oh. Okay. <laughs> when the answer is. Wait, no! 68%. No! Wow. Jack gets a point. Oh, mm. Jack's on board. I want to be held. We're talking about deep childhood trauma here. Yeah, so we're let's all little like, let's boys. Let's just air it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> See how scary she is right now? <laughs> oh my God. Let me hold oh, you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever sent a sex to someone? What percentage of boyfriends say yes? <laughs> like every man ever. Oh, <laughs> just wow. Just kidding. There's definitely a good percentage that hasn't, though. But I think it's pretty high. <gasps> dude, you want any dick pics like I'm just kidding. How many you get? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. What percentage? Not as much as you think. <laughs> I feel like men send more when you don't want it. I operate it with the belief if I put it in a digital form, it's there forever and I don't have control of it. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. And it is already unflattering enough. <laughs> yeah, you know? nobody needs I to don't see need that. it to be any less I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't think it's cute, but like everyone does it. 62 and 70%. Okay. Why'd <laughs> you be like 65? <laughs> 50. Ooh. 45. Why are we so close? I did a 69! <laughs> He's closer with 100 Well, because because I thought she was going to do 100%, so I was going to $1 the out of her. Oh, oh I mean, oh. I, no, no! 61.5%. What? Nice! Woo! Oh, girl! I mean, come on! I guess you just got to say 60%. <laughs> I just gave away the secret of the game. <laughs> I'm going too bold here. These are these are I mean, big swings. <laughs> Dude, I know. I know this guy. 
apparently you know them boys. Your partner I... farts real loud in public. What do you do? High five, raise your hand and take the stinky blame in the name of love, point at them, make a scene and make sure the world knows who did it or ignore it, continue on and never speak of the farty moment again. What was the number one response of boyfriends? Number one response. I know guys that are like, ew, I don't want them to shit in front of me. They don't shit. I was like, dude, sh your face. <laughs> <laughs> if I was with this person for a while, they high five me and give me like and good laugh. Like I feel like that would be so hilarious. <laughs> You're in Panera bread. She womps. <laughs> I know what I would want to have happen. <laughs> <laughs> high five. Ignore. High, high five. High fives. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying ignore. You're saying high five. Mm -hmm. What? I'm like on an airplane. Someone walks by. I'm like, are you kidding? Don't ever do it on an airplane. Yeah. No. What monster? But we've all done it. Uh, <laughs> answer is high five. Then Let have go. a good laugh, baby. Let yep. go. Are you doing this on purpose? Nailed it. High yes. five. Yes. Imagine actually like pointing at them and like making a scene. Though I feel like that's so rude. She did know. it. Wait, I'm proud. Let's go. I'm so proud. I'm back on the board. What was Joanne, the second? That's what that means. There's a bonus point. Okay. What percentage of boyfriends said they would claim the stink in the name of love? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I claim this stink in the name of love! 32% take yeah. the blame. 15% take the blame. 15% take the blame. 30% and 18%. 38 percent so high. Very high, but it's The okay. answer is 7.7%. Oh. <laughs> but look at how close it was between ignore it and high five. Okay, see, I'm glad about that. Look at that, you could have $1 robbed me. You could have okay, said so 1%. Okay, so ignore and then high five are the two. It's like a very <laughs> sad win. On it. I don't understand pie charts. It's just <laughs> mathing. Math it's yeah. all like, can you see it? It's happening right now. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah. True or false, a sense of humor is the most important trait when looking for a partner. What percentage of boyfriends thinks that is true? Humor is your number one? 100%, yeah. My wife was the first person who could like consistently make me laugh, so I had to marry her. Aww. Please keep we that in. We have to cry! Please keep that in. <laughs> if you can make me laugh, you automatically become cute. What are the other traits? Like loyalty and oh, trust? 77%, 63%. She just keeps doing 60%. Smart. Smart. <laughs> Jillian? 78%? 78. Oh, shit. 70% and 56%. Okay. Well, the answer is 57%. I'm not trying to brag, but I think I know men more than you. 57%. strategy. Very Very close. Smart. Very smart. that like sound effect? 57. She nailed it. Nice. What is happening? Am I like in the man brain? <laughs> You're significant. Just watched four episodes of the Netflix show you were binging together without you. On a scale from one to ten, how much trouble are they in? What was the number one choice? Not to stereotype, but I think for women it's like a betrayal. I have had this happen to me multiple times, and I don't care. I can watch it. You already wrote yours? Yeah. I think it's ten, but I didn't write that. You think it's ten? Yeah, because it pisses me right on off. <laughs> I'm trying okay. to relate it to a show I would love to watch, like it. Pam Montana or something. <laughs> How mad would I be? I would be pissed. You think women are more mad in this situation? Yeah, I get f***ing triggered. <laughs> Guys don't care as much. Okay. Women are like, I cannot believe you did that. A I'm six or an eight. So you think they'd be mad? Yeah, but in real life, probably not, because I wouldn't care. And I understand the actions don't match what's on the screen. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Three. Four. So you pretty low. I think I think it's three actually now. Wow, six and eight. Ooh, you're still pretty angry. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's pretty angry, but like I feel like halfway point, like five, is like. Look at that strategy. Look at that strategy. The number is one. What? One. <laughs> wow. Zero. No shit. <laughs> Yeah. No one cares. Isn't that crazy? So one. So they don't care. They don't care. I see. It's not like a betrayal. Not yeah. at all. Your logic is correct. Yep. Saying that like guys just like wouldn't even care. Yeah. I guess I was thinking like. So it's like, me. I'm the diva. I put the graphs, both of them, in here for context. So okay. here's the girlfriend graph. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true though. Complete opposite. Wow. You all just right. gotta study this when you get into a relationship, just to understand what the other side needs. Yeah. Have you ever ghosted someone after the first date? What percentage of boyfriends have done this? Oh my God, that's gonna be high. Yes, yes. Because men do not know how to communicate and they're just gonna ghost. Okay. They're just gonna go. Damn, bro, I'm, I'm gonna look at his answer and judge you. No, oh, you <laughs> feel free to. I mean, if, I don't know if you remember or not, but we can cut to a clip. Uh, what, how many people did Brian say he ghosted last time? Oh no. <laughs> I've had one night stands and then never called him. Oh my god! Oh, so it's higher. <laughs> <laughs> 61, 67. <laughs> that looks so weird. 35 and 68. 63, sorry. 63. <laughs> 
92% have ghosted somebody and 80% nice. have ghosted. I mean, I've wow. ghosted before. Okay. But I explained uh. why. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a really good reason. I'm sorry. He showed up like super high and like couldn't make words. And was three yeah. kids in a coat. Well, the answer is 29.1%. <laughs> Izzy with another point. What am I doing? I know, doing? men. <laughs> she wins again. <laughs> no. That's so wrong. There's men. No way. Do we, okay. Or at least admitting. <laughs> I yes. was gonna say, Somebody's I'm like, lying. how many of you are admitting to this? There's no shame in the anonymous game, guys. Just put it right out there. <laughs> are you okay with your partner being best friends with one of their exes? What percentage of boyfriends Oof. said yes, they are okay with that? Mm -mm. <laughs> Did you guys just feel each other yeah. <laughs> I feel like some guys are just like, yeah, I don't care. But then I feel like all the guys that I, I, I dated cared. <laughs> this is hard. It's not like you sit down and have a conversation about like, oh, and I was with this person or that person. Like people don't want to imagine that. And nobody needs a story where somehow the clothes just flew off your body. Yeah, and like, somehow something happened. Yeah, like we've always just been really, really great friends. And then just one time. Yeah, I didn't know what happened. It just happened. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? You had to take your clothes off. It doesn't matter to me. I'm here. And I'm bomb. Ooh, 21% are okay with it. 25%. Yay. 50? 27%. 20 percent are okay, and six percent are okay. You think it's a big old deal? And the answer is forty percent are okay. God, see, forty percent of boyfriends said they I feel like are okay. okay. A lot of boys would be throwing hands, <laughs> maybe fighting everybody. Yeah, like you talk to a man at Starbucks, I'm fighting you. Mm. <laughs> wow. Forty percent say it's okay. The relationships that I've heard of, when a guy or a girl cheats, it's their coworker or their ex. Great, so stop shipping anybody in the comments, please. <laughs> <laughs> Next question! What is the perfect date movie? Romance, action, comedy, or horror match the order of best movie to worst movie according to Boyfriends. Oh! Oh, according to Boyfriends? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know this. Oh, do you? Yeah. I would never put horror first. I'm only thinking of that. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're thinking why. of all the men out there. Yeah. What are these boys be thinking? You know, you boys be thinking. Me. I don't like. Can I you don't not be like, selfish? I don't like horror movies. <laughs> Comedy, right. horror, romance, action, comedy, action, horror, romance. Ooh. We got comedy, horror, action, romance, and horror, comedy, romance, action. Horror, romance, comedy, action, horror, action, comedy, romance. The answer is comedy, horror, romance, action. Oh, oh so <laughs> close, but you wow. got it. Uh, Okay. I, originally, I had okay. action, comedy, horror, romance. Was Can that correct? Comedy, comedy horror, horror, romance, action. You got it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Bonus point question. What percentage said comedy? I feel like this one's a pretty high percentage. Oh my god, I have my dog's fur on my lip, bro. <laughs> it's so gross. Okay. Stop making out with your damn dog. Uh, ew. Ew. Sixty-eight percent. Sixty-seven percent. Sixty-seven point five. Come on. <laughs> Forty-one. Forty-one. Forty. Ooh. Holy crap. <laughs> 64%, 52%, the answer is... 58%. 57.5%. Wait, I'm closer. No. I'm she, bad at math. She is. <laughs> 5%. 57.5%. You got me. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Nailed it. Speaking of first dates, sex on the first date, yay or nay? What percentage straight up said yes? Yay. <laughs> What you thinking these boyfriend thinking? I was on a first date with a guy at a coffee shop in the afternoon and he turned to me and he was like, so we're we gonna have sex on this table? Whoa. Walk out. Yeah. Gosh, at least 60%, right Jillian? Oh, definitely. 95. 70. 95! <laughs> 87%, 77%. I think it's closer to 100. 67% and 40%. All right. I think you might be right. I played it safe. 41.1%, John, as high as you thought. You judgmental sluts. <laughs> Jack Whoa, nailed it. Jack. Oh, my God. I'm a React fan. <laughs> so we all are lying about <laughs> See, this is it's this, gen, it's this generation. No, but in my day, if it was like, okay, the girl is, that's on the table and it's consensual and all that good stuff, right? Uh, then yeah. It's Why? happening. Marriage, do you expect your partner to take your last name as a boyfriend? You're getting married. Oh. Does your partner take your last name? I gave him four answers. No, yes, hyphenated. I'm taking their name, but I want you to tell me what percentage straight up said, yes, I expect her to take my last name. Take do you expect last your partner name. to take your last name? Okay, I have to what go with your first. You have to go with your first number. Yeah. What percentage? No, wait. What percentage? Not. <laughs> please show him. Please show your boy. <laughs> what you put? What you put? What you put? What you put? Yeah. 
I was like, we choosing between no, yes, hyphen, and I'm taking their name. I'm dead. Uh, why is this so confusing to me? I don't know. I guess it is more progressive now, but my percentage is kind of high just because it's like whatever is that has always happened. Okay. But what you got? 75%, 52%. Oh, I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling yeah, better about my chances. a little bit chances. more progressive, I think, I, than traditional. I am, because of the audience. 38%, 62%, 47%, 53%. Wow, okay, so nice. a little like against tradition and norm, both of you. 34.7%. 38, oh baby! God. I'm sorry for talking <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love these selfless men. Like, do whatever you want, babe. My parents would be like, "You're breaking up with that person." Wrong. They're like, "That's wrong." Our family line will continue. Yeah. Like, like, oh my god. Have you ever been cheated on by a significant other? What percentage of boyfriends said yes? That they know love. Okay. Thirty-four percent. Sixty-eight percent. Damn it! I was gonna do like sixty. I mean, wow. okay. I mean, That's like in today's culture, I feel like it's just next, next, next. No, I swipe, agree. Swipe, swipe, swipe. I agree. Right? I agree. I feel like you closed your eyes and you just wrote Yeah, I don't know. I just I said it right. <laughs> All right, what'd you put? 30%, 62%. Nine. 50%, 61%. Have oh, been I was cheated do on. 60. The answer oh. is 38.7%. Oh. Did I get that? You got yeah, that? Jack. Wow. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Jack, I had hope back. for the girls. I'm like really not on it this half, last half. Dang. 38.7%. Oh, oh, I got it. Dang oh, it. God. I keep I literally, it. yeah, I was I, like, am I right right now? <laughs> I was assuming that people were terrible. <laughs> the guy that cheated on me, man, he was strategic with it. Like whenever his girlfriend would call, it would say mom. So I'd be like, oh yeah. Like you can go take your call from your mom. Your boyfriend was his mom? <laughs> Have you ever cheated on your significant other? Because we're all just horrible liars and terrible people, I'm gonna put this answer. Do you think they would admit it? I wouldn't admit they, it, that's the problem. But I never like... would, let's be clear. <laughs> but you never admit it. But I but... also would never answer a poll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were at the club grunting on each other. I got a little hard, but it didn't matter. Yeah, like, that's not cheating. <laughs> that's literally it, dude. 65%, 15%. <laughs> Wait, what? 30. 30 and 28. Oh, what the heck, dude? 36%, 70%. Oh. <laughs> 13.1% Quit <laughs> your lying ass. That is a lie. Nice. Wow. I'm happy I'm wrong. Wow, that's really good. I, I think it was so off on that. Let's go. <laughs> you think? I Let's think go. I may have been. <laughs> Come on. Let's be honest. Out of a thousand dudes. <laughs> <clears throat> Sex. What do you consider a healthy amount for a relationship? Daily, two to three times a week, once a week, monthly, kind of really don't care about the sex. I'm asking you, what percentage chose don't care? What percentage chose that they don't care? I think I'm good. Um, Keep in mind, there's demisexual, <clears throat> so. Oh, I know. I live in 2023 as well. I only know two. <laughs> okay. 6%, one time. <laughs> 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 1%. Oh, 1%. 1%. 12. 31. Oh, okay, we got a little bit of difference Ooh, this here. one's, this one's different. <laughs> oh, okay. 11, three, the answer, 22%. They don't care? Said they don't really care about the sex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that is just this generation. Because that would never, if you, if you, OS. Wait, who's the Michael? 10. 10. Nine. Nine. Yeah! Even if you're by yourself, daily's a lot. <laughs> I mean, just throw that out there. Even if you're living that solo life. Yeah, like you, got, you yeah, gotta do that's something a lot. else. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> get out. Have you ever forgotten your partner's birthday? What percentage said yes? Wow, that is a stupid move. I have a hard time remembering my own birthday. Me and my girlfriend have the same birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So if I forgot hers, I'd be like, um. Yeah. Man, that'd be a level of self centeredness yeah, I couldn't that's even. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> oh, I feel like you've done this before. Oh, yeah. You've done well, it's this my birthday too. month, so. Oh, okay. When's, when's so your birthday? It's birthday month right now. March 19th. I get half the month. Happy birthday. Thanks. 90 per 8! <laughs> Not even laughing at us! 18 and 10? Yeah, 10%. 3%. 10%. 10%. Nice and low. 17.3%. Bang! Hey. You nailed it. More okay. than you would think. Wow. <laughs> I'm a birthday remembering God. Yeah. Man. <laughs> That's what you're going for. Yeah, yeah that's what I was, I was really saying. That. Yeah. That's really how I felt. the technicality point. <laughs> Last one, the fun one. Do oh, you no. stalk your ex on social media? And how do you do it, Brian? Yeah, how do you do it? 
Jillian just said yes with oh. her face. <laughs> I have a few that stalk me and still like message me, still like all my stories, still, and I'm like, what you doing? Mm. All my exes have like hit me back up, so. Ooh. So they must be. They were stalking. If you're looking at the stories like on a thing, there's the one in front, the one behind. So you can go to the one in front of it, like the next person's story, and then you can hold your finger down and drag it, and you can see at least one of the frames. I would say use a different account. <laughs> That's just me. That's <laughs> 66 percent, 71. Very close. Wow, we are very close. 22. <laughs> 22. 57 percent, 71 percent. Well, let's see what you're the map. 26.3 percent. Wow, yes. you have been killing it, dude. Wow, wow, wow. Said yep. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right. Who's that stalking their ex on social media, people? <laughs> Who isn't doing it? Now I'm Gary Seinfeld. What the heck? That's it. Did you guys learn anything today? Can you today? just put us both under one crown right now? Yeah. <laughs> Ding. Just do it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if you put both of our perspectives together, it's the perfect person. Yeah. Oh. We love right. statistics.